Welcome to Finance Walk. Uh, today we will cover uh, forecasting techniques. Uh, please remember whenever uh, we want to go for any company analysis or want to uh, predict uh, financial statements or forecast financial statements and we have to forecast uh, its variables. So right from sales uh, then expenses, depreciation, uh, capital expenditure, cash flow. We have to forecast uh, many variables. Uh, it's important to see the process and the some pointers while forecasting. Uh, so we are going to uh, see uh, these uh, pointers in uh, detail. So in this chapter, uh, we will cover uh, steps in forecasting, sales uh, or revenue growth forecasting, how to forecast expenses, capital expenditure forecasting, uh, forecasting depreciation. So. Uh, these are the uh, different uh, variables we are going to see in this video okay so uh, in steps in forecasting we need to uh, see first the uh, importance or pointers uh, of uh, forecasting forecasting of uh, cash flows requires deep understanding of economy market and business so uh, don't just uh, rely more on historical uh, seeing the historical trends and extrapolating it for uh, future uh, uh, financial years but uh, have a very good uh, understanding of economy market and business forecasting of each variable gives uh, us understanding and linkages of variables like sales expenses capital expenditure, depreciation and uh, operating margin. So before going for valuing the company, the analyst should uh, forecast company's cash flows and other financial uh, aspects. So keep this in mind that before valuing any company, uh, you have to uh, forecast the variables and see uh, the linkage between forecasting and uh, 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 pointers in business economy and company okay uh, with this let's move to uh, steps in forecasting uh, first step is uh, building the revenue forecast so build the revenue forecast this should be based on volume growth and price changes we are going to see uh, this in detail when we uh, uh, when we uh, cover a live case study or case study in Excel how to do it okay second is uh, forecasting operational items forecasting uh, operational items such as uh, operating cost working capital property plant and equipment uh, by linking them to revenue or volume right third step is uh, project non operating items such as investments in unconsolidated subsidiaries and related income as well as interest expense and interest income fourth point is uh, projecting the equity accounts now what are equity accounts this equity should equal last year's equity plus net income and net share issues less dividends and share repurchases so keep this in mind this is very important uh, equity should equal last year's equity plus net income and the new share issues less dividends and share repurchases okay fifth step is uh, using the cash or uh, date accounts to balance the cash flows and balance sheet okay now uh, let's see uh, first item that is how to build uh, revenue or revenue growth forecasting. Uh, I'm giving here some pointers so just focus on pointers. 
keep this in mind that no one can forecast uh, company uh, for next 10 10 years 15 years in uh, uh, to, to to be uh, precise precisely so in that case you have to keep some uh, pointers in mind and which will give you which will uh, keep your forecast closer to the uh, actual ones okay so uh, these pointers are very essential historical trends uh, okay so instead of just assuming a 10 percent growth rate uh, let's base uh, uh, assumptions on the following first is uh, historical trends of course uh, calculate CAGR that is compounded annual growth rate historical growth rates average of historical growth rates that is for last three to five years then specific growth initiatives like uh, you know if you want to base your uh, company's forecast uh, for 15 percent revenue growth then uh, there has to be some reasoning behind it uh, for example the company has uh, you know company never give past 10 percent then uh, unless there is some specific growth plans you cannot uh, uh, give forecast for 15 percent so uh, specific growth initiatives like uh, some uh, acquisition or uh, uh, new product development or launching new schemes in the market uh, this will definitely uh, propel uh, sales growth so keep that in mind a uh, third point you need to check is industry growth and trends check industry growth how industry is growing fourth is uh, strategic analysis strategic analysis is very important you know uh, uh, keep in mind that forecasting or financial modeling is not very important in equity research what is important is uh, uh, checking the variables and how they will perform in future so financial modeling is uh, uh, given uh, undue uh, weightage in equity research so most of uh, uh, you might have heard of financial modeling but yes basic financial modeling is uh, important at the initial stage of your career but uh, I wouldn't definitely recommend uh, going for complex models uh, which you or client won't understand so specific or stick to uh, only uh, basic models and uh, basic understanding and the valuation of business rather than uh, uh, creating complex Microsoft Excel models okay so strategic analysis is very very important we, uh, we are going to cover it in business research so uh, you will see some uh, live case studies and how to do it uh, in uh, some of uh, uh, coming videos okay uh, it is not uncommon to have declining growth rates okay uh, what is declining growth rates yes there is growth but uh, at a slower pace uh, in the projection period as one cannot grow uh, at 15 percent or 20 percent forever for example uh, in growth period if you want to forecast uh, uh, the sales for 15 percent you cannot keep this forever 15 percent or 20 percent forever keep this in mind as the base increases the growth rate also decreases for example one cannot grow uh, uh, by 20 percent when the base is 10 lakhs uh, okay uh, it will grow uh, and, and the same at 10 crores so the growth percentage would be there but it would be at declining rate for example if from 15 percent would go to 14 percent 13 and half then maybe 12 percent then accordingly you need to check that while uh, forecasting historical analysis uh, since we know that the past is a relevant indicator of the future the more number of historical years in your analysis the better when uh, justifying your projection inputs so historical analysis is important sensitivity analysis is important definitely uh, sensitivity analysis is uh, more subjective uh, but at the same time try to keep it more uh, uh, objective or keep the uh, uh, forecasting or uh, the range prob probability uh, giving percentage uh, as real as possible sensitize your projections for base case or management case optimistic or aggressive and pessimistic or downside uh, cases 
so uh, give some range to valuation don't just give one value so keep some range for example uh, if uh, there is growth from 12 to uh, 18% in future so what would be the valuation if cost of capital is uh, is hovering between 12 and 15% what would be the impact on valuation so uh, let your model be uh, Uh, more flexible more accommodating rather than giving it very uh, you know creating very complex models and uh, rigid one okay so with this uh, let's go to sales or revenue growth rate strategic analysis examples okay we all know big bazaar and walmart uh, these are retail uh, uh, retailers retail industries okay so how to do it is uh, for this uh, retailers first is a uh, regression analysis of sales versus gdp uh, and or and population growth okay so since retail industry is uh, based on uh, gdp or population growth do some regression analysis or you can go for sales per square foot or per type of store this allows you to capture if you look at big bazaar uh, if you have visited big bazaar or any uh, mall uh, then then you definitely can understand uh, this it is the sales is uh, you know mostly a function of uh, number of footfalls uh, or sales per square foot the big the store is the most uh, mostly the number of people visiting the store would be uh, more number of stores and growth in number of stores so if big bazaar has uh, let's say 50 stores in india and uh, then uh, some other reliance retail has let's say uh, 75 stores so uh, definitely the sales would be impacted by the number of stores then a type of store let's check whether same store uh, uh, you know have uh, uh, competition or sales then it is critical to retail okay so what you need to do is compare two stores let's say reliance and reliance retail and big bazaar compare these two stores Uh, and check the sales right so uh, what products they have and how uh, reliance retail or big bazaar is increasing uh, uh, its sales uh, in comparison to the other sales size in square foot per store stores get larger on average due to space efficiencies or expansion so uh bigger the store bigger the uh, you know larger the variety uh, of uh, products so you need to check that also uh, 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 you know while doing a forecasting analysis now let's look at the uh, next uh, example beverage industry you all know coca cola uh, pepsi and thumbs up uh, product right so how to do that Uh, uh how to do any uh, uh how to do analysis or forecasting of beverage industry first is geographic definitely uh, in geographic uh, if you look at us market it's more mature and saturated market and uh, slower growth okay if you look at asia asia market is uh, uh, having a rapid growth and uh, you know more population also so more number of people uh you consuming the uh, uh, coca cola or pepsi or thumbs up product more the uh, sales uh, uh, would be then next is uh, product type and demographic changes uh, if you look at india and us and uh, compare these uh, compare the uh, demographic features uh, you know in these two countries then you will see that us market uh, in us market people consume uh, uh, beverage more so thumbs up uh, so sorry i would say coca cola and pepsi uh, the consumption per person would be higher there and india it would be uh, on lower side okay so how to uh, forecast expenses and capital expenditure which are the pointers so if you look at uh, expenditure uh, uh, you know first is operating expenses as a percentage of sales okay 
So if you look at operating expense as a percentage of sales, uh, it is uh, similar to sales revenue growth justification. Uh, every time sales, so let's say operating expenses are 30% of sales, then uh, 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 or hovering around 30 to 34% every year, then you can definitely take assume that for future also. Historical trends. So historical trend usually want to see uh, this decline over time due to economies of scale. Uh, so if you do horizontal and vertical analysis in that uh, you will see uh, if you uh, see what is economics of scale. Uh, as you have uh, uh, fixed assets and machinery, uh, if you produce more number of uh, products, your per uh, you know cost per product would be on lower side. This is called economies of scale. So higher the scale, uh, lower will be uh, price of the product or cost of the product. This is about uh, expenses uh, forecasting. Now let's see capital expenditures. So capital expenditure. So let's say next uh, next fiscal year estimate is usually supplied by management in any MDA. That is, we have already seen in reading annual reports, management discussion and analysis. It gives very useful information. Uh, so if you look at uh, the estimate or the figure given by uh, management in uh, management discussion and analysis, you will come across uh, the capital expenditure figure for uh, subsequent years. Capex can be estimated. Uh, like one uh, thing is you can keep it constant uh, each year or uh, rupee change based on historical capex if uh, relevant or you can take as percentage change so based on historical capex again if relevant or you can take average of last three years so usually capex go grows each year so for a normal trend this projects a decline right so after uh, uh, taking pointers into account about capital expenditure and expenses, let's move to depreciation expenses. So uh, how to depreciate and uh, different uh, uh, fixed asset and how to uh, you know how to forecast uh, these uh, depreciation expenses. So uh, detailed forecasting approach would be like depreciate existing net PPE that is property plant and equipment based on estimated remaining useful life of each separate asset. So it is again uh, you can take uh, you know number of useful uh, uh, years of the you know of that particular fixed asset. So I repeat depreciate existing uh, net uh, property plant and equipment based on estimated remaining useful life of each separate asset then you can take inputs from MDA so useful life inputs can be found uh, uh, on any MDA uh, so but uh, please remember land is not depreciated because it appreciates every year New capex depreciate new capital expenditures based on estimated weighted average useful life of all assets. And uh, fourth is percentage of revenue. So fair approach if historical percentage of revenue has been fairly constant and consistent, it should result in similar numbers. So uh, you, we can look at uh, this particular uh, figure in. Uh, uh, income statement and balance sheet and check uh, what kind of depreciation uh, uh, is given in income statement as a percentage of revenue and you can keep that constant so if there is range of let's say 10 uh, percent or uh, 8 percent every year you can keep the same uh, for future years as well okay with this uh, will uh, uh, with this will finish this uh, forecasting techniques part one in next part, we'll see how to uh, forecast uh, growth in revenues and uh, we will also see how to uh, forecast cash flows and operating margin.